okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a small box initially at rest slides down an inclined plane the plane is slanted at an angle theta the coefficient of friction between the plane and the box is mu after the box has traveled distance s down the plane which is inclined its speed becomes v find the expression for the final speed that is v so this question i would say is very very important and uh, a lot of concepts uh, will be put in here in this question so please uh, be more careful here and if you are still not able to understand please do mention that in comment section this is an important question so what is happening now is let us say this is the inclined plane and this is the body that is sitting on the inclined plane and this is how we draw and this angle is uh, theta yes so what is happening here is this is the weight that is mg and we know that this weight will be divided into two components now like this and like this and this angle theta comes out to be equal to this angle theta so either you can remember it or you can just uh, try to find it like why is that and uh, even if you have a problem there please let me know in the comment section so this will be theta so this is this becomes mg cos theta and this becomes mg sin theta first of all this is the distribution of uh, the weight on uh, the body now what happens is the friction force is acting backwards and the friction force is acting here so we can say that this is the friction force and how much will this be now obviously this will be the maximum force because the body is sliding down so this friction will be the maximum static friction that is possible so either you take uh, it to be because they have not mentioned whether it is a static coefficient of friction or dynamic or kinetic coefficient of friction so we don't know it so that is why you can just take it as m mu into r so it will be mu and what is the reaction going to be now because the body is neither moving in the direction of mg cos theta nor it is moving in the direction of r so we can say both of the forces are equal so this will become mg cos theta and the forward force is mg sin theta and the backward force is mu mg cos theta so now we have to find the net force on it so obviously the f net will become mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta so this is the force which will be compared with m into a and from here we will first find the acceleration so this m gets cancelled out g is taken common sin theta minus mu g cos theta becomes the net acceleration now it has covered a distance of s here like for example from this point to this point so now we are going to apply the same formula that is s is equal to ut plus half at square and from here we are going to find okay we wanted to find velocity so you can have v square minus u square is equal to 2s and u will be zero because it started at rest so final velocity square is 2 into s i'm writing like this and a will be Okay, this g is not going to be there mu g cos theta yes so 2 g s sin theta minus mu cos theta and the square root so our first option is absolutely correct and this is how we do it uh, so there are so many concepts um, uh, involved in this question so that is why this question becomes very very important for us so you need to see the video again and again to understand it properly what is happening is this is the body this is the weight and weight has been divided into two components so one component is applying the force which is pulling the mass downwards and there is a friction and the friction because of the kinetic friction or the dynamic friction becomes uh, constant once the body starts moving so in this case body is moving so friction is having a constant value so that value is mu r so i found the f net I equated with m into a i found a and then kinematics v square minus u square is equal to as so this is how we do it all the best